Hey guys, Mr. Race here to help you guys out with the part three of the mastermind. So once you got your part two working out good, we're going to go ahead and fork this and make this a part three so we can go through it together. Okay, so we have our game and it kind of works, but it, it allows us to build a guess. We check in. So it just every time we run it, we build a guess and it works. Now what we want to do is to make this into a game. So we want to have a variable called le guesses left and we want to initialize this at nine. Okay, so and we also want to, after you import random, so we'll just go here and have guesses left equal nine. So you start out with nine guesses. All right, we need to edit the functions to build the code to run correctly during the game. So um, first thing, we got our build guess function. All right, and that is the one we just built here. It should say your guess is then show them the guess. So after we print the guess code, we should probably say print your guess is, and then we can show them what their guess code is going to be. Okay, next, our build temporary secret code, which we actually have build both of those. What we need to do is to make sure that our in our secret code and our guest code, which we just combined to be just a build temp in this case, is that every time this goes through, we need to make the temporary codes blank. So in order to do that, we need to have a global temporary secret code. Actually, we need to have a lot of things, right? We need to have the secret code. We need to have a the guess code. We're, I'm just globalizing every variable that we use. Uh, global temporary secret code and global temporary guess code. All right, and then what we have here going on is that we need to make sure when we start this, our temporary secret code and our temporary guess code go back to being blank. So when this gets repeated, as we go through our process, we clear out our temporary guess code. So temporary secret code equals blank. Temporary guess code equals blank as well. Okay, and we don't need a print statement. All right, our ch check spots here, our check, we need to initialize this correct spots as zero. So we get it as global. We just want to make sure when we try to go over again, we want correct spots to equal zero. Okay. That will go through. We get that. Go through. You know what? And we might as well. I already see this doesn't hurt, but I'm going to put a global temporary secret code. And that's all we need, right? Temporary secret code. Okay, next are check colors. We want to do the same thing. So, you know what I'm going to do? I see we use the temporary guest code and the temporary secret code. Oh, did we use both here and the guest code? Oh, you know what? I might as well. Global temp guest code. So, just using the global, it's one of these things like we might not be using it, but it doesn't hurt to put this in. Uh, all it does is add a couple bytes of memory to our code, which it's already going to be a pretty short code, so we don't need to save space here. Um, global correct colors, and all we need to do is to make the correct, man, what happened there? I zoomed in super fast. Correct colors equals zero. Okay. And we don't need to print anything off at the end of that one. All right, and our score here, which we have print score, we should just probably let them know a little bit more. So instead of just print correct spots, we should say print number of correct spots. Correct spots. And then same thing here, number of correct colors correct colors. Okay. So, 
yeah, we're doing good. So let's set up a while loop to run while the guess is less is greater than zero and then the correct spots is less than four. So we're going to use this build that we have here, but um, yeah, let's start up our while loop. So while the guesses left is greater than zero and our correct spots is less than four. So assuming that, you know, if we ever change the game, we might have to change that number there. All right, we would have to kind of build all this stuff in. Okay. So what we're going to do here first is build the temporary secret code. All right, or build the guess. We can build the guess, build the temporary code. So we got those. I guess we could probably do them in either order. It won't matter. We could check for the correct spots, check for the correct colors, print the score, make the guesses go down by left one. So guesses left equals guesses left minus one. And then we'll print guesses left. is left. All right. Nope. Oh, that right. Okay. So once the loops end, you'll need to add a conditional statement. So here's this, like, if you think about what we just did here and what we've been doing is we've been building all these codes of what we are going to do during the game. And our game is literally all the, as complicated as it is, is just this line of code because this abstraction calls this chunk of code up here. And then this line of code calls this other big line of code up there. So we're just constantly looking through, going through big chunks at a time. So um, once we, this is over, so once this while loop ends, we wanna see like if we win or if we lose. So if the correct spots equal equals four, Right. You win, yay. And then else, so if this ended without correct spots equaling four or the guess is left, we could print you lose. Boo. All right, so let's test this out and see how well this works. So we do know the code is the same, right? We never changed the secret code. The secret code is going through. So let's build a code here. I'm just going to guess like red, 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 red. Your guess is red. Okay, so we got an error here. All right, in line 85 in our module, check correct spots. Okay, which is right here. And then in that correct spots is line 36. Okay, so let's see if temporary gets good. Okay, so there's a problem with this. What if we don't have these globals here? Let me just get rid of these globals. Red, 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 red. Nope, still same error. Okay, so we do have an error that we need to figure out here. So in our check correct spots here, which we get the global correct spots, and we get the global temporary score and we get the global temporary guess code and this is after build right okay it says if temporary uh, guess code sub number is okay we're list out of index Okay, so let's kind of pause. Let's see what's going on here. All right, so I'm going to build some tracer rounds in here just to see. So I'm going to do print temp uh, secret code. Print temp guess code. All right, because I think the build temp secret code, I got to check to make sure that the build is going correct first. 
So if I guess red, 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 red. All right. I see this is what I print off. And then here's the temp secret code. Here's the temporary guess code. Okay. So I know build temp works. The problem is, all right, let's see if check correct spots is working. So before we go through, let's print. We'll do the same print. See if this is going through the same thing. So let me just pick like J, 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 J. Okay. There is, what's this thing here though? So this is what I typed in. Here's the print from the temp secret code. Here's the temp guess code. Here's the temp secret code. And now the temp guess code is blank. What happened to the temporary guess code in between here and here? Hmm. Let's think. Okay, so we got some issues here. I'm going to first check this global guess code. Um, maybe we don't want that to be global. So let's do just H. H. Move my head here. Oh, that isn't going to be H. 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 So same thing. That guess code goes back. Oh, yeah, that did not change. And so we do want that. Okay, so we do need a global guess code. So the problem is we can build the guess code. Um, okay, you know, Q R. The problem is right here. When we run the build, not build temp, but check secret spots, our temporary guess code is blank, even though the step before it, the temporary guess code is so for so it's getting erased. I'm going to do this. I'm going to take this to find this shouldn't matter. But I'm going to just take this to find build guess and I'm going to put this up at the beginning here. I'll run this now. All right. T T T T still is blank. So what is going on here? Why doesn't it like the temporary guess code? Temporary guess code is blank when we build the temp and then we add the color to it from our guess code that we typed in and then we print that off and that's why we get this statement here. That's the temporary guess. Then when we get our global, when we check spots, we get the correct spots, the correct temporary secret code, the temporary guess code. Double checking and I spelled that right, it is. We print off the secret temporary secret code, which is this one here. The temporary guess code goes blank. Why? Let's just double check this here. So that is, that's running that one, but let's put this one here. Just trying to see tracer rounds. What's going on? I hope that's not going to work. Okay. So they are working, but for some reason, the temporary gas code gets erased. Now, do we need to do return? We might need to do returns here. Which I don't want to do, but... All right, let's pause and figure out what's going on. All right, so I'm going to kind of mess around. I'm going to make a global secret code just one, two, three, four. And it, when we initialize it here, 
um, 9A76. Let's see if this changes anything. Pick a color, um, and, and so the problem is our temporary guess code is. Hold on. Hello. So the problem is our temporary guess code. So over here is always going back and referring to that, even though the temporary secret code does get changed. So why is the secret code getting changed and not the temporary guess code? Um, and I think there's a spelling error here. Let me see, control C. Oh, that is an issue. Temp, so this is temp guess code. Oh my God, I have tem guess, oh geez. Temp guess code. Oh man, is that really it? In this build? Let's run this again. Oh man, this is why I hate coding. Can you all right, now everything's working. Okay, so we can get these print commands taken away. Oh man, I literally all that issue, and I've been like struggling for like the last like 20 minutes here, figuring out what is going wrong with this because I forgot the letter P. And you guys might have been watching this video and be like, oh, Mr. Riz, you forgot the letter P. Oh, there we go. So let's start running this. Okay. If I guess red, 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 number spots two, I have eight left. So we can keep going through this. Now, if you might, you might want to go through and add the ripple clear to go through this, but uh, blue, 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 blue. Okay, we can go through this. Red, red, oh, red, red, white, blue, we win. And then so if we wanted to run ahead, make sure we lose here. I'm just going to guess like A, 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 a bunch of times. I lose. Okay, so it works. Oh man, that's coding, classic coding there. All right, you guys have a great day. I'm going to take a break here and I will see you guys next time.